Hi everyone, welcome back to Liberty Park Music. Today we'll be learning a song from Sam Smith called I'm Not The Only One. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to just reach out to us and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, let's jump right in. So the verse and the chorus sections of this song use the same 8 bars chord progression. Now just pay attention to how the D minor 7 comes on the first bar instead of the second bar. It's on the 4 end of the first bar. And on the B flat major, it's on the 2 end count. So same thing here in bar number 7. The F major here is on the 4 end count of bar number 7 instead of the, four, the 1 count of bar number 8. So this is the same repeating chord progression for the verse and chorus. Now the bridge section is slightly different, but it's not too tricky as well. Now one thing to note is the way we're going to play D minor 7 in the verse section, it's going to be very different from the way we play D minor 7 in the bridge section. And it's the same thing for the B flat major chord. The way we play the B flat major chord in the verse and chorus sections, they, it, that chord is going to be very different in the bridge section. So first let's check out the chords that we'll be using for this fingerstyle arrangement of I'm not the only one. So the first chord we'll be using is an F major. And you're going to have to play it with your thumb because we have to do that lick. And you can't do it if you're doing your F major with a bar. So you have to play it with your thumb. And then we have an A7. And then we have a D minor 7. So there are two ways to play the D minor 7. This way first. And this way. So this shape is the way you're going to play it for the bridge section. And this is the way you're going to play it for the verse and the choruses. Next we have a B flat major. So just like the D minor 7, there are two ways to play this chord. This way is the way you're going to play it for the verse and the chorus. This is the way you're going to play it for the bridge section. Next we have a C7. And then we have a D minus 7 slash C, which is like that. So 6, 4, 3, 2. Now let's check out the finger picking pattern. Now timing is key for this entire song. So the first thing I want to point out is if you check out the chord chart, you'll find that for the first bar, it's F major, A7, and then the next bar is a D minor 7 and B flat major, right? But for the D minor 7, the D minor 7 actually comes on the 4 end count of the previous bar. So it should sound something like this without the, the line. So it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and that's a D minor 7. And the B flat major should come on the 2 and count. So now the B flat major with the B flat major. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So once again, a bit slower. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So again, the D minor 7 should come on the 4 and count of the previous bar. And the B flat major should come on the 2 and count. Now another thing is in the 8th bar of the verse and chorus section. So on the 8th bar, it's just an F major chord, right? But like the D minor 7, that F major chord should come on the 4 and count of the 7th bar. So if I play from the 7th bar, it's F major, C7, and F major. So with the counting, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and once more. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 
Now that's the timing that we have to keep throughout the song. Now let's check out the finger picking pattern to get that iconic piano line. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out the full video lesson, please visit libertypunkmusic.com where we have online guitar courses available for streaming 24 seven. Our courses are for beginners all the way to advanced players. And we have courses like intro to guitar, jazz guitar, and we have song lessons as well so you can learn your favorite songs. So if you want to try out Liberty Park Music for free for 30 days, sign up with us today.